Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. All right, first and foremost, we want to welcome our pastor, our brother, uh, Mario. Awesome to have you here. Thank so this you. is in Privileged. brief, Thank the you. intro to Islam. First and foremost, we say that God is Allah. And when we say the word Allah, we are not believing in a God who is only a God of the Muslims, the Arabs, Indian, Pakistani, or the Middle Eastern. When we say the word Allah, we are referring to the Creator. In different languages, we say different names for the same Creator. Like in Hebrew language, we can say Elohim, Jehovah, Yahweh. In Spanish, it is Dios. Uh, in Norwegian, it is Good. Uh, in English, it is the Creator, right? In the language of Jesus, do you guys know what was his language? Jesus, peace be upon him. What was his language? Aramaic. Aramaic, okay. All right, good. <laughs> uh, according to that language, uh, Brother uh, Mario, the name, the name of God is Ilah or Allah. So Allah is the universal God, and we have many, many attributes of the Creator. We say He is one, uh, He is uh, eternal, He is powerful, He is merciful, He is loving God, and He wants to guide humanity. So to guide humanity, God did not come down and became a human or an idol or an animal or the sun, the moon, the creation. God remained God and he from the humans, he chose messengers and prophets. Yes. So God, when he created Adam, God started to send a fundamental truth to Adam that do not worship animals and idols and the creation, but only submit to one God. Amen. So that submission to one God in Arabic is Islam. So that same truth then God gave to all the messengers and all the prophets. Some of them I mentioned over here, Brother uh, Mario, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them and many, many thousands more. So there is a passage in the Quran, chapter 16, verse 36, that God appointed messengers and prophets to all the nations and then God sent them one fundamental truth. Invite your people to the worship of one God. Not to worship the creation, but the creator. In Arabic, that is Islam. So we say that every prophet, including Jesus, came with the message of Islam. So now a question to all of you is, okay, if Islam is the faith, what is the name of a person who follows Islam? You guys know this. Muslim, Muslim right? Yes. So we say that Jesus and Moses, they were Muslims. We say Abraham and Noah, they were Muslims. They were not Christians or Jews. In fact, Allah says in the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 67, that Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian, but he was a Muslim, right? Allah says that. Even for Jesus, the Quran says in chapter 3, verse number 51, Inna Allah rabbi wa rabbukum fa'budu haza sirata mustaqim. So the translation is, Jesus is saying to his people, Verily, Allah is my Lord and your Lord. Worship him alone, and that is the straight path. So what happened was, brother, uh, brother Mario, if you can look at over here. No, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah. So that is the one path, the first and the original and the only faith and the only guidance that God gave for humanity. So what people did, did in history was, so this is the straight path. This is the path of Islam. All the prophets that came with that path, but some people in many different times and generations, they moved away. Like some people, they moved away and they diluted the oneness of God and they started to take idols as mediators or the creators. That's how the faith of Hinduism was started by humans, not given by God. Some people, they started to worship the sun, Athenism God started. Some people, they started to take away the concept of God and only had certain rituals. That's how Buddhism God started. And then some people, by mistake, they started to elevate Jesus, a messenger, a flesh and blood, a human, because he was doing miracles. They thought maybe he's more than a human. And they started to think, you know what? Maybe he's son of God. Maybe he's God. Maybe he's part of Trinity. That's how the faith of Christianity was started by humans, not given by God. In fact, Jesus never heard the word Christianity. Jesus never heard the word Christian. The word Christianity is not there in the whole Bible. The word Judaism is not there in the whole Bible. The word, Christ, the, the, the word Trinity is not there in the whole Bible. The word Bible is not there in the whole Bible, right, to begin with. So Allah sent how much more time? Two? So Allah sent many scriptures. So Allah sent a scripture to Jesus and Moses and David and Abraham and other prophets. Those scriptures were only meant for that time and those people. So what happened was all throughout history, those scriptures, people started to change them. People diluted them, right? And some of them, they got lost. 
So Allah, by His merciful and loving and guiding nature, He sent the last book, which is the Quran. So the same Creator who sent the the Injil which was given to Jesus and the books given to previous prophets, he sent the last scripture and then God took the responsibility that no one is going to change this. 15 million people, they memorize it. Zero for the whole Bible. In the original language, 15 million people in Arabic language, they memorize the whole Quran. So the Quran mentions about uh, who is the creator. He's not a human. He's not Jesus. He's not Trinity. God is one. The way that the first commandment of the Old Testament says, right? And the Quran mentions uh, how to transform ourselves. What are the things that we should stay away from? What are the things that we should do, right? And the solutions to the problems. So Quran came to transform a human and the family and all of humanity. And last but not the least, the Quran says that one day we are going to stand in front of God. You know, just like when you go to schools and colleges, there is an evaluation at the end of the semester. The evaluation for each single one of us would be on the day of judgment. Based upon how we lived, what, uh, what did we believe, and how did we practice. On that day, God is going to only admit those people into paradise who only worship one God without any partners and did the good deeds that God wants us to do. And if we fall short, God, uh, you know, we, we ask for repentance. And God says he's going to forgive us in the Quran many, many times. So the way to go to paradise is not somebody dies for us, but by God's forgiveness and the repentance. Okay. On the other hand, lastly, if somebody keeps on associating partners with God, even knowing the truth, there would be hellfire and then there would be paradise over here. May God guide all of us. May God bless all of us. Thank you very much. Now so, we're going to give you two minutes. And then okay, now. So, so to, go ahead. Start the two minutes. Well, I have to respond to some stuff you said it was not factual data. When you say, Ur so you started the time. It's my okay. turn to talk now because you said some stuff is not true. Sorry, history. Ur Chaldeans. Everybody knows the Fertile Crescent. Abraham was not Muslim. Abraham, the Fertile Crescent of Ur Chaldeans, that he was not Muslim. Muslim was not invented them, so he's not a Muslim because Muhammad came. You got Jesus before Muhammad, and he missed. So that's wrong. When you say, let's facts go history. Abraham was the Ur of Chaldeans, the Fertile Civilization. So that's not true. Check out civilization because I told you I'm no novice. That's not true, brother. Sorry. That's misrepresented. You said something that was not true. Factual data. He was not a Muslim because Islam came after Jesus. So that cannot be true. Number one. Number two, uh, you said some other stuff that's not true. That you said Jesus is whatever this and that according to your book. That he was not here. And I say the beginning of Genesis to the Imam. The beginning of Genesis, Islam came after Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, if he was prophet, king, and Lord, and he claimed by the miracles, by the power of the resurrection, I told you real miracles, and he said that he was there with the, you know, it's all one God. I am one, I said, saith the Lord. I am a jealous God. When we get up to the throne, we will see one God. He is one God. One throne, one God, we all stand. So you said something that's according to your book. Do you know something in your original book of Arabic that's preserved? There are grammatical errors if that's from God and God doesn't make. There are problems, grammatical errors. When the word was sent from first Aramaic Judaism and then from the Greek to Latin to English King James there were no grammatical errors in the manuscript so yours is <clears> locked <throat> up somewhere and it has because if it's God he doesn't make a mistake so wait a minute well you said some stuff that was so, not so, true so, it's okay. so, so now I'm going to say the back. verse